Welcome to Packet Tracer 7.1.3.8 Investigate unicast, broadcast, and multicast traffic Objectives Part 1 Generate unicast traffic Part 2 Generate broadcast traffic And Part 3 Investigate multicast traffic Part 1 Generate unicast traffic Step 1. Use ping to generate traffic. Click PC1, click desktop and command prompt. Enter ping 10.0.3.2. The ping should succeed. success. Step 2. Enter simulation mode. Click the simulation tab to enter simulation mode. Click edit filters and verify the only ICMP and eGroup events are selected. And we're all good. Click PC1 and enter the ping command again. Examine unicast traffic. The PDU at PC1 is an ICMP echo request intended for the serial interface on router 3. Click Capture 4 repeatedly and watch while the echo request is sent to Router 3 and the echo reply is sent back to PC1. Stop when the first echo reply reaches PC1. Which devices did the packet travel through with the unicast transmission? It went from PC1 to switch to router 1, router 3, back through router 1, switch, and back to PC. In the simulation panel event list section, the last column contains a color box that provides access to detailed information about an event. Click the color box in the last column for the first event. The PDU information open window opens. What layer did the transmission start at and why? Layer 3 because it deals with specifically with IP and ICMP. Examine the layer 3 information for all the events. No set both the source and destination IP addresses are unicast addresses that refer to the PC1 and the serial interface on router 3. What two changes take place at layer 3 when the packet arrives at router 3? Source and destination IP addresses are flipped and the ICMP message type is now zero. Click reset simulation. Part 2, Generate Broadcast Traffic. Step 1, Add a Complex PDU. Click Add Complex PDU. The icon for this is in the right toolbar, or for me it's up here, right here. 
Now click PC1 and add the information, destination IP, sequence number, and one shot time. Within the PDU settings, default for select application is ping. Uh, what are the least three other applications available for use? So pull down this window here and you can see FTP, HTTP, HTTPS, IMAP, POP3. So there's a lot of them. Click create PDU. This test broadcast packet now appears in simulation panel event list. It also appears in the PDU list window. It is the first PDU for scenario zero. Click capture forward twice. This packet is sent to the switch and then broadcast to the PC2 and PC3 in router one. Examine the layer three information for all the events Notice that the destination IP address is 255.255.255.255, which is the IP broadcast address you configured when you created this complex PDU. Analyzing the OSI model information, what changes occur in layer 3 information of the out layers column on router 1, PC2, and PC3? The PDU becomes a unicast replying back to PC1. Click Capture Forward again. Does the broadcast PDU ever forward on to router 2 or router 3? Why? No. The limited broadcast should remain within the local network unless the router is set to forward. After you're done examining the broadcast behavior, delete the test packet by clicking delete below scenario zero. Part three, investigate multicast traffic. Step one, examine the traffic generated by routing protocols. Click capture forward, eager packets are at router one. Way to multicast out of each interface. Examine the contents of these packets by opening PDU information window and clicking capture forward again. The packets are sent to two other routers in the switch. The switch will forward the packets to the PCs. Click Capture Forward until you see egret packets arrive at the PCs. What do the hosts do with the packets? The hosts reject and drop the packets. Examine the Layer 3 and Layer 4 information for all the egret events. What is the destination address of each of these packets? Two two four dot zero dot zero dot ten, the IP multicast address for the eGRIP routing protocol. Click on one of the packets delivered to the PCs.
what happens to those packets. The packets are dropped and no additional processing is done. Based on traffic generated by the three types of IP packets, what are the major differences in delivery? The unicast packet moves through the network destined for a specific device. The broadcast gets sent to every device in the local area network. And the multicast is sent to all devices, but only processed by those that are part of the multicast group. Okay, we're all done. Thank you again for watching. Please hit subscribe so you're updated with future packet tracers. And thank you again for watching.